In this video, I want to dive a little deeper into the commenting capabilities of WordPress. If you've ever seen a WordPress site, you probably know that you can leave comments on some of the posts or pages. Again, this can be turned on or off depending on the kind of site you're building. One caveat here is comments are great traffic drivers to your site, but they can also become a mess if you don't pay attention because people just like to be silly. So let's talk about the commenting system in WordPress. I'm going to head back over to my dashboard and I'm going to click on comments. You'll remember from a previous video, I created a comment on our Welcome to Wordville post. And you can see here that I have the ability now to manage that comment. Whether I want to reply as an administrator, edit it, tell WordPress that it was spam and so block me for later, or trash the comment. I can even unapprove it. Administrators are approved by default, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. I can turn comments on and off by post pretty easily. If I come to another movie night in the park and click edit, click on document, scroll down to discussion, I can turn off commenting for this particular post. I can turn it off site wide as well here under settings. But let's say at Wordville, we want to allow comments on our events and on our attractions. So I'm just going to go and turn that back on. If I'm on the post itself, I can, of course, leave a comment, which I did before. This sounds like a lot of fun. And my comment is posted once again because I'm logged in as the administrator. Well, what if I'm not logged in? When I'm not logged in, WordPress will ask me for my comment, but it'll also ask me for some distinguishing information. So I'm going to leave a, another comment, maybe even asking a question so that others can answer. Is the park really a good venue for watching movies? And I'll put in my name, Billy, and a fake email address. And I'm not going to put in a website, although I could. You'll note that the required fields are name and email. And I'll post a comment. Right now, comments must be approved before they show up here. Well, let's head back over. And now on the comments link, I see I have one unapproved comment. And here it is. You can see by the highlighting. As an administrator, I can approve it. I can reply, quick edit, call it spam, or send it straight to trash. When I approve that comment and hit refresh on my incognito window where I'm not logged in, Billy has a comment and now I can click reply. Once again, it's asking me for information because I'm not logged in. If I want to cancel my reply, well, pretty simple. I can just click cancel. Let's go ahead and as a logged in user, reply to Billy's comment. When I click reply, yes, it's an amazing place to watch movies. You'll note that my comment is indented as a reply to Billy's comment. And this is something that's really, really fun in WordPress. It allows you to build up entire conversations and people will do this. Now, one note of caution, once again, you have to keep track of this. This isn't something you can just turn on and forget about because unfortunately, some people just like to be irresponsible. So if you're going to leave commenting on, it can drive a tremendous amount of traffic to your site, but it's a two-edged sword. You'll need to make sure that you manage it. Really simple to do though, as we saw, once again, dashboard, comments, and you'll see all of the comments that are being created on your various posts. You can see whether it's a reply to somebody or a top level comment. And as with posts, you can perform bulk actions to unapprove, approve, mark as spam, or move to trash. So managing your comments is actually pretty simple with WordPress.